Well, we all want to know the answer to Andrew Webster's coaching future for the Warriors. We know what the answer is in the immediate term, but what about long term? He signed a three-year deal initially. Is that going to be extended? We do not want another Ivan Cleary happening. Cam George Warriors CEO George is 134. Cam, it's great to have you back on board. We spoke uh, a few weeks ago and thought the season was going pretty damn well. 13 wins, mate. I mean, how do, you must sit in your office and just be... Is this the best possible outcome that you could have expected up until this point of the season? Yeah, look, it's certainly um, at the top, the higher end of what we were hoping for this year. Um, just a credit to everyone, the fans, the footy club, the sponsors, the players and the families that are supporting him. And it's all coming together. Um, but, you know, we want to be here at this end of the season in the firing line. We're here now. Now it's up to us to, to really grab hold of the chance that we've got now. So time will tell, mate, but we're very happy. Well, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of organising and planning and stuff like that. And, and it must be tempting to try and push go on a few things. But are you kind of of the mindset that, hey, we just got to wait every game, just keep winning these games? Yeah, look, it'll get to a point where we have to pull the trigger on plans. Um, but, you know, between Webby and myself uh, and others, you know, we're just very focused and patient on where we're at right now. Um, it's really important for our staff and players that we don't take anything for granted and uh, not listen to the outside noise and just go to Hamilton this weekend. And, you know, we have a very important game against a, a really hungry team. So that's the focus. How easy is that for you to do? Because you must be skipping into work at the moment. I, I can imagine everyone's got a smile on their face and the expectations are huge. How do you, how do you as the CEO temper all of this? Yeah, look, I, I communicate regularly with the staff, like, you know, Saturday on the plane back from the Gold Coast uh, you know, Centre. An email out to everyone, just, you know, keeping their heads down. Um, you know, don't take this for granted. And we have a job to do, which is really excite our fan base on game day. Um and really get everything right, and there's no reason why there should be a mistake in anything we do. And, and that then, you know, translates to, you know, real hard work and hopefully great outcomes for our fans. And Webby's of the same view, and that messaging goes down through, um, you know, the playing ranks and, and also the staff. So uh, we're a collective, and we're all, we all understand where we're at, but, look, mate, we do have a spring in our step. It's not like we're not enjoying the moment, and it's not like we're not celebrating the moment, but we soon move on to the next challenge. When you sell out all your corporate, uh, you know, boxes and lounges and everything like that, weeks in advance before the end of the season, is that, what does that do for you as a CEO? Do you put your feet up at that stage and light a cigar in your office? I mean, it must be a delight. That's a huge box ticked, isn't it? Well, it is, but it's, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a benefit of having great staff and, and we have good people leading in that space. We have great support, as you know, uh, through the sponsorship and the partnerships, but... I keep enforcing to our um, to our staff that this is a time to really make it happen. Um, what people are really interested in is we really need to engage with them. We really need to go to another level. And they fall that much in love with us that they become long-term partners of the club, not just when we're winning. We want them there helping us when we're having challenging times. And for God's sake, as you know, we've had those. So... This is really our time to, to go to another level and, and, and I'm challenging our staff to do that. So whilst we say great work, good tick uh, for everyone that's done the work, let's go to another level now and really inspire our partners to get on board again next year. Now's our time to sell the dream for next year and that's what we're doing commercially. In terms of seating and in terms of tickets for the last couple of home matches, is there any plans to put any extra seating like they did for the, for the All Black Test at Mount Smart? Mate, no. We, we, it's it's funny, you know. We had that discussion. Um, a couple of things. One is that the the rent, you know, was for the infrastructure was, you know, was it was pretty decent rent. Scaffolders are and doing two, okay at the moment, Cameron. If you've got shares in a scaffolding yeah. business, mate, you're doing all right. I'm sure, mate. I've only got to drive around the city and see. But um, one of the one of the key things that we love at Mount Smart Stadium, and you've been around plenty of stadiums, mate, is that we have. Um, this what we call the D zone behind the goalposts, and it's a really unique place for our sponsors to activate our fan base to get together, catch up before and after a game and during a game, and it's something a lot of stadiums can't offer. You know, in New Zealand, I think there's only us and Dunedin that have got that sort of yeah, space. Yeah, and it is a really cool space for us, and it's something we we enjoy having where we can have music and so on and so on, and it adds to the experience and. Whilst we had an extra 5,000 seats 
uh, 6,000 seats when the All Blacks were playing there. You know, whilst we sold them, it also, you know, a lot of people didn't buy in the South Stand. So, you know, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. But we're really happy with the offering we have. And we've got 26-odd thousand seats and we just want them full for the last two games. Cam George, CEO of the Warriors with us. You must be absolutely thrilled as well. The organic support that grows naturally. I mean, those guys who are the spy, spy, uh, spider men, you know, I look at them... I look at the signs, I look at the banners, I look at guys like the Warrior Holic and all of these people who have just come out on their own and started doing things for you. And I know that you interact with them and I know you're very generous with them when you get a chance to be as well. How, you know, is that, is, is that to you as good as it gets in terms of a fan base, that people start creating their own? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing what, um, you know, what this club has been able to do to engage with these people and have fun with them and... Um, mate, our home crowd here is just unbelievable. It's the best in the business. I don't care what anyone says. And um, I went to the Gold Coast on the weekend, Martin, and mate, we had a membership and a fan base uh, function before the game, and they couldn't get into the venue. And then when we got to the game, we absolutely outplayed the Titans fan base and, and to the point where the chairman texted me the next day and said, mate, it is unbelievable that you go to an away game for you guys and you, you outplay the home team. Uh, and their crowd so um, it just goes to show how far and wide our, our our fan base is and how passionate they are and it's just a real privilege uh, for all of us and me in particular to work at a club that has such great following not only here in New Zealand but globally. You hear that Warriors chant go up and we had um, you know the Warrior Nation guy with the, with the drummer on the show I mean it's just the you know the connectivity that's what it is mate I mean and you know yeah, this is what every sports franchise in the world wants it's right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And you talk about Richard Morgan with yeah, that drum. I can tell mm. you, everywhere you go, you hear him banging it. And um, when we left the venue the other day to go to the ground with all the fans and and so on, we had a couple of beers and with everyone and went to the ground. And here he is with his drum and he's mar- he's marching them to the ground. And it's got a, a real unique feel that even fans at other clubs they, they they just feel like being a part of it. And that's one of the good things that we created through COVID and now with a little bit of success and hopefully it continues is that once people's teams drop out and if we're still in the finals, I can assure you our, our fan base will triple because everyone will start to follow the Warriors because they love uh, what we're doing. All right, final question's got to be about Webby then and so much speculation about his contract and what's going to happen and it's probably something that you'll say, hey, we're dealing with that at the end of the year. But is this the easiest rubber stamp job that you've got? Oh, look, yeah, 100%. He wants to stay. We want to naturally want to look further into the future about building a, a really long-term plan and partnership. He, he's our leader, mate. He, he's shown really good skills and uh, a connection with our footy club. And um, Him and I have both had preliminary discussions and we're dead set, shake hands, and we're on the right page. And I, I dare say, you know, we'll get stuck into it once the season's over and get it sorted and... Mate, that'll be it. We'll just sit back and we'll just execute the plan we've got for the next five to ten years with development and win as many premierships as we can as him as our coach. That's our plan. So can we assume that that means that he's going to sign long term? Mate, he wants to stay long term and we want him long term. So you can assume what you want and uh, all I know is it'll be an easy beer to have with him. Devlin. Yes! Yes! Can we do it? The Platform.